Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your favorite anime for the King of YouTube. Ted was in the building today, and welcome to season five of the Mr. Woods Fun Fact Show. And what better way to bring in season five of the Mr. Woods Fun Fact Show with bringing in with, with a little love from T4 Star. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I got this shirt from, from them at YumaCon. And what did I bring this the fun the fun fact show? I'm talking too fast because I'm excited. Why not bring the fun fact show in? With uh, you no, know, doing my Dragon Ball week because like after this one, I have one more video for Dragon Ball week, and then it's done. I've been doing Dragon Ball week literally for three weeks. I'm not tired of it, but I need I gotta move on, do some more videos, and I gotta get some more stuff done. But uh, so basically, I was trying to debate what to talk about first, whether it would be GT or the ladies of Dragon Ball. And I was like, why not uh, just talk about GT and talk about my own personal experience and how much um, I liked it and I liked it and I didn't like it. Cause during that time, I was hearing many rumors that it, it, it was another Dragon Ball, but uh, I think at the time I heard something called Dragon Ball AF, Dragon Ball Absalom, then of course I reached out, I heard about GT. At, during this time, I'm like, so which one is it? I wasn't really, uh, I, I wasn't really sure of which one it was. So eventually, uh, it was GT, which was somewhat canon to, uh, well, I guess it is kind of canon to uh, Z, because I think it happened like, um, because it wasn't, it wasn't, a, cause I thought it was a manga first, but it wasn't a manga. It went, it was straight to anime. Uh, if I'm looking at it right, it says about five years after the uh, at, at the disease series ended, that's what we got into, or ten years in the uh, formation dub. Uh, come to find, no, the GT is introduced. I love my juice, love my juice. But, uh, no, it, they appeared like on uh, Cartoon Network, Toonami. At one day, at one point, they put on ABC, if I remember that right. Oh, I did put on new tunes. I thought it wasn't on new tunes, but it wasn't new tunes. But so, anyways, guys, uh, I was then. Then when Goku, basically, what happened is Goku got transformed to a little kid by Emperor Pilaf, and by that happening, uh, Pan and Trunks uh, they went to search for the Black Star Dragon Balls, and basically, cause basically, you make a wish on the Black Star Dragon Balls. Where plan you made the wish on it, the plan will explode. So now, Goku, Trunks, and Pan goes off into space. And try to find the Black Star Dragon Balls. They, they they go into mini battles here and there, but um, by me watching it, I was like, I wasn't too keen on Goku becoming a little kid again. I really was kind of upset about that to transform into a little kid. But um, I did like the introduction of Pan. You know, she was like a little kid during the Z series. Uh, I I really started to lose focus into it when they I don't know. It's just like everything is happening. I just really wasn't in it until we got to the baby saga. The baby saga was pretty, I, I, I like the baby saga uh, to, to an extent, because the yeah, baby saga was really their, their, their main, really their tough main bad guy, because he pretty much invaded Earth. Take, he pretty much took over almost just everybody on the planet, including Vegeta. And at one point, he came this golden great ape Vegeta, or yeah, eight Vegeta. And I'm trying to remember, I'm looking at some of the staff for, uh, la, 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 la. I said we're trying to so very quick load. Oh, pretty much pick up stuff and turn and turns uh, turns the black star dragon balls into stone. Apparently, when the earth explodes at the yeah, pickle yeah pickle kills stuff about that. Uh, it's hot towards it and I was kind of shocked about that because again pickle is one of my favorite characters in the whole dragon ball series. Uh, I, like again the baby cycle it was pretty good because it just they they they're tough like major villain just like I feel about super. But I already knew about Beerus, then I knew about Golden Freezer, but until I, like, until I watched, uh, when, when Black came in part of the uh, series, that was, that was their first really, really major threat. Nothing against Freezer or Beerus, but Black was their really threat. That's how I felt about with, with Baby. Baby was their, was GT's major threat at the while. Then, of course, we have, uh, uh, excuse me, we had the Super 17 Saga. I, that, to me, felt kind of shortish. Cause uh, it, like it was Dr. Jiro and Dr. Miyu, uh, who, Dr. Miyu who's the one who created Baby Go get revenge on the Saiyans. You know, Dr. Jiro who's created the uh, you know the Red Ribbon Army, whatnot. They work together. They make they make another clone of eighteen, I mean seventeen. They both seventeen merge together to create Super Seventeen. 
No, they basically said like Super Saiyan is his, his, his attacks was like somewhat impervious to Goku's attack, but pretty much all it was he just absorbed a lot of uh, Kai energy or Kai blast, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was thanks to eighteen that uh, cause eighteen killed. I mean, sorry, seven, Super Seventeen killed Krillin, but eighteen came back to uh, distract Seventeen and end up and Goku ended up killing Super Seventeen. Uh, again, yeah, like I can say. All right, with Super Seven, with the Super Seventeen saga, it did uh, it did kind of fell short. Uh, wasn't really actually it wasn't really a uh, big of a threat. To me, it was a threat, but not the big. Then we had uh, the Shadow Dragon saga. Like it was like that was a really good one because then we got introduced into um, the uh, Super Saiyan Four Gogeta. Now, before I go on any more, I I forgot to mention that uh, that the new, the new uh, Form that was the Super Saiyan 4, which Goku and Vegeta was the only two that you to get this form, by the way. Uh, during, during this time, I know I know the game called game called Dragon Ball Heroes where uh, Broly reached the level of Super Saiyan 4. Uh, but anyways, but uh, pretty much I'm, I'm gonna read this last bit part. It says that the real Shenron appears, and this is after pretty much after the uh, the whole Shadow Dragon scene, which I do a little Mega Shenron. Uh, the, the real uh, Shilonga appears the Grand Goku and his friend one last wish and pre then proceeds to disappear. Along with Goku and the Dragon Balls, several decades later, Goku's great great grandson Goku Jr. participated in the World Tournament World Tournament as his grandmother Pan cheers for him. And Pan then sees Goku and tries to approach him, but Goku disappears in the crowd. Goku then leaves the World Tournament with the flashback of the timeline. After the flashback of his time ends, Goku then catches catches his power pole and rides off into the Goku the Nimbus Cloud. So this brings me to my point where they uh, to me where GT kind of falls off because um, I, it, it just it wasn't how it, it wasn't as good as Z series and I know I'm pretty much even though the Z series is yet a classic I do enjoy the Z series a lot. Uh, I think it had a lot of riding on it. I think that uh, it was, I don't know, it was good for a while, but I, I don't think that uh, Atori, uh, Akira Toriyama didn't have that much, I guess, input. I, I guess the only connection they have is, uh, oh, you can use my, you, you can use my characters, but I think he really didn't uh, help help with so much with it. But uh, just like with uh, you know, with Dragon Ball Evolution, like they had the rights, but Akira Toriyama, probably, he didn't want, he probably didn't have one, one nothing to do with it. So, uh, excuse me. So I felt like you know, it it, it had a lot of right. It, I think it was really for for the time, cause I, for a while I was really defending GT. I really was defending it, but at the same time, you no, know, it it lost it because it took a while. For me to actually really get in toward, towards when the baby saga started, that's why I got that was that's when I was all in in the series. I was like, oh cool, but like who this character called baby? It, even though baby, he was he really wasn't strong on his own, and he had to take over certain people's body just to just to get stronger. Because eventually, when he got into Vegeta, he he got that's when he somewhat said Vegeta reached the level of Super Saiyan three because of baby. But uh. Then he went to the grade A or grade uh, the grade A form. Uh, you know, he, like I say, baby was like I say, you know, baby was the to me GT's major villain. He by far wasn't the best villain that I've seen. And uh, you know, he helped, you know, he caused us to go Super Saiyan four. He it wasn't good. That's why, like, even with um, you know, I felt it was Super Eight with Super uh, uh, Seventeen. It, it, I mean, it was cool to see him come back, but I feel like he was a waste. I feel like it was a waste of time. It was short, you know. Oh, he killed Krillin, and I mean, eventually they figured what to do. Then the Shadow Dragon, Shadow Dragon Saga was good as well. I enjoyed that. Uh, I so much wasn't so bad. I guess my biggest problem with uh, GT it has to be that. Nobody else really had time to shine in in this one besides Pan. She, uh, I mean, she, she, you know, she to me she was more of a. I know people hate me for saying this. 
you know, she's more of a moral support character. Um, it just, I don't know, it just, it, it just didn't feel right. Not right, it just like, you have Pan get a chance to shine, but you're not going to get Gohan or, or Goten a chance to shine on their own. And that's what kind of bothered with me. I mean, I, I feel like GT could have been good, but it but it wasn't good. I, I felt like it, it was there. It was, to me, point blank, GT was mediocre. I'm going to be real with y'all right there. I feel, like, I feel like GT was more of a mediocre show. You know, I do enjoy like like if you tell me uh if if, if, if somebody asked me what the what the best thing I like about GT I'll probably say maybe the Shadow Dragons, even though some some of the dragons were a bit useless to. Uh I, but I did love Omega Shinron or or Sin Shinron, how you wanna call where you wanna call. He was uh he was good and I like the fact that we got Super Saiyan four Gogeta. Uh because I remember in the Fusion Report, we didn't really get that much of him. We got like a quick glimpse, and that was it. He uh, pretty much beat uh, Janemba, and that was and that was that. But I, I, I just felt like, you know, GT, it, it had a chance to really hit somewhere, but it didn't. And that, I think that's the uh, sad part about that. It could have went somewhere, but it didn't go nowhere. Like I said, to me, it's mediocre. That's why they saying that GT was like an alternate dimension or alternate reality. Because you see, like, uh... I think they don't mention the games, but you see on like you see like Super Saiyan Four go to Super Saiyan Four, Vegeta. You see Omega Shenron. I think you see uh in Xenoverse. I haven't got that far in Xenoverse two yet. Uh, you know Xenoverse, you got Baby, you got you know Shenron on there, and uh, yeah, I feel like it could have been. I don't know, man. It's, I just felt really mediocre, mediocre with that show. And, you know, it had a, it had, it does it, at times it did shine. I'm not gonna lie, it did it had times to shine, but it just didn't shine. It just didn't shine bright enough. But uh, I, like I said, if, if, if anybody's a true Dragon Ball fan, you, somebody you find get tell them start from the original Dragon Ball to Z. Then I'll say go to Super. Pass. Don't don't bother with GT. He, I'm, again, I'm not someone's hating on, but you know, wasn't it wasn't that best for sure. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen. I got to wrap this up, and uh, I love you guys so much. Thank y'all so much for watching. I want you to help me reach to a thousand subscribers, not just here on my YouTube channel, which is T-Bone Soul 21. Also, I'm going to reach to a thousand subscribers on my Twitter page. Sorry, not my Twitter page. <laughs> my uh, my uh, Twitch page, which is the True KOG. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you, deuces, and thank y'all for staying with me for my Dragon Ball week. Got one more video for this week, which, is, which will be on Sunday. If you're watching now, it was a Saturday. Thank y'all so much for watching. Deuces, y'all have a nice day.